He had a lot of great performances. But within the Lakers and Bucks game, we had a lot of things happen. We had Anthony Davis go off for 44 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 blocks. We had LeBron James pass Magic Johnson. He's six all-time in assists now. And Chris Middleton made his return to Milwaukee. Shout out to Chris. That was lit. Where do we start? <laughs> where do we where, start? Where, where do we start? Well, let's start with AD. Let's let's start with the fact that you know we've seen over the past two three seasons Giannis get the better hand of him for the most part. But um, yesterday he approached the game with with a good mentality. He approached the game with I have to be the most dominant player on the court, even with the most dominant player in the league on the other side. He approached the game with I feel like I'm on this guy's level. I have to come and play, and he showed it. He was amazing. I feel like even though Giannis's step, box score looks great. AD significantly outplayed Giannis. He just looked like the better player on both ends. Talk he looked like that. the more dominant player. And he was just picking apart Giannis and Lopez. Like, whoever it was, he was just picking them apart. Um, but we know that's not Giannis' strength. You know, help side defender, rim protector. That's what he does. That's the type of defender he is. But uh, shout out to AD. Chris Middleton's <laughs> return. You know, he looked great as a playmaker. You know, the shot looks fine getting into form. He's going to take – whether. He has a stinker tomorrow, next week. He's going to take some time. You know, he had a wrist injury, especially for a shooter. That's not good. So he's going to take some time to get the rest off. But he looked really great in his debut. The Bucks losing that game, they shouldn't feel too bad about it. You know, that's just a tough game no? at home. I thought the Lakers were garbage. They're, they still, they're still a top oh, three season. seed in yeah, the East. Just just a top five They're record in the league. Lakers are like, trash. They shouldn't feel bad about they that game. They shouldn't have lost that game. They just had a, a D. Being as talented as he is, he had one of those performances. Don't forget about and sometimes, of Russ course, or LeBron, of course, of course just of course. saying, don't forget about Bro, it. Nine wins, to get his shit off. Twelve losses. Relax, buddy. Just calm down. Listen, seven of the last nine W's. Those teams, yeah. the wins were the Nets with no. He, Kyrie. he was waiting for you to say yeah, that. The was, Pistons, the Spurs three times, no the Kate. Blazers, no Dame, and Bucks. Not this just is the, the Bucks. first big no win. Kate. We're no talking. Kate. We're talking about the full force Bucks. Yes. With, yes. with no, Middleton. Stop. Celtics can't say the same. No, oh, Ingles. Bro, it's December. I'm just saying. It is December. They, they, do, you, they, do you expect the Bucks so to go 76 and yeah, 6? You're implementing Chris Middleton. He's trying yeah. to get into oh, the rhythm, That's a great too. win, though. Oh, no. But please that is I'm chatting. Yeah. I'm chatting. Okay, I'm chatting you. for sure. Um, that being said, that's not going to take away from the fact that the, the big three Lakers accounted for 83 points last night. Gangster. One of them is coming off the bench. One of them had 44. And that is amazing. That is amazing. One of them had 40. him. Yeah, no, absolutely. Have we ever, have have we ever named yeah. the big LeBron three where one of them and, were coming off the bench? I'm just saying, though, has there ever been a big three where one of them were coming off the Well, that's, a, that's our big three, and that's a fact, so keep it hush. Yeah. The 15 a little. It's okay. No, but what's amazing about it was the no turnovers. What's also amazing about LeBron's 27 is the no turnovers. Yep. Both had 11 assists, no turnovers. Anthony Davis, you mentioned it, and you said it perfectly. Giannis had himself a game. We're going to talk about Giannis' Euro step with the all-time great moves because I don't know if he's ever stopped when he does that Euro step move, going to the basket. Every single time, it seems like it's a bucket. But both sides of the court is where Anthony Davis separates himself. Why I am so infatuated with Anthony Davis, aside from the fact that he plays for my Lakers, is that when he's healthy, the defensive aspect of his game is second to none. When he's healthy, he is the best big defender in the league. I don't care what analytics say about Gobert. No, he is Draymond. the best. Draymond definitely deserves to be in that conversation. AD can do more. But the versatility that AD offers is mm. crazy. And look with the way that Debatable. he's leading this team. It's not. Because no, there's guys on this court that do not play that high level defense. Because it's not debatable. No, no, no. In v- versatility, can do more. for sure. On defense, more he can block shots. The block better. shots are more impactful, better. though. But how so? What I'm not what, saying what? that. How is he Draymond more impactful? Communicates better. Stop chatting like Anthony Davis think, is no, regular. Draymond, no, no, no. I didn't. But like you're saying, Dr- Draymond. What do you want to bring up? Numbers. The way that he communicates. Yes, I'm not going to forget not about only the numbers. Yo, respect he, Pelicans AD, bro. I feel like you. You'd be forgetting about, about no, who AD was. AD, AD right player. now. AD right, right now is, is, one, is one, one of the best, best players in the league. He's playing better defense than Draymond is. So we're talking about right now. AD is a better defender than Draymond right now. I mean, we're talking about in we're talking about LA AD, bro. No, we're talking about 2022. You mean LAAD, the, the same AD who has the second best player on the championship team, was the defensive anchor for that team that yes. got to the finals I'll and tell won? You what, man? What this, are we talking about? This, this is some shit AD. I was not expecting. Me either. This is like some Anthony shit. Anthony Davis? But I also what don't think Rip is trying to come to I think, I think Rip was simply just asking a question and y'all took it out of context. They're not saying anything. No, we're talking about two of what the do you best defenders. Wait, yeah, I don't think Wait, we're not saying like Draymond hasn't been more impactful. We never said that. The defender is I just said that AD can do more defensively. But, and all I said was, 
was Draymond's more impactful. Riff, where, are where are you getting that? Where are you getting that? Nah, you said debatable, said. and I said nah. But Riff, where are what? you getting that from? What when I said, said AD can do more defensively, that doesn't mean he's a better defender. It doesn't. He why, why wouldn't he be better defender though? Why, I, think, I think Pelicans. Right. Wait, Pelicans AD is a better. But Riff, defender. you're losing me because if he can do more. And he's still that's like saying, that's like saying Riff, the score, let me fucking finish. That's like saying the scorer can do more. Th- just like saying you exactly can do, can more, do more in the offensive end than Giannis, but Giannis is still a better scorer. You're losing me because LeBron about? LeBron is one of the most dominant scorers in the league, but everyone will say that Kevin Durant's a better scorer Why? because he, he can, can do more. But so you, keep it but quiet. But you that's my whole point. But you don't that think, has, you don't think, but you don't think Kevin Durant's a better scorer than LeBron, even though Kevin Durant does more. I mean, that's a fact. I I believe Kevin Durant argument. That's wrong because I do believe Kevin Durant is a better all around scorer. That's the I truth. Didn't, I didn't know. I thought you meant Kevin. I no, thought you I've been like very vocal about that. Never heard I, you do I that. I think that, that LeBron needs to be in the conversation for the greatest scorer ever. That still doesn't take away from the fact that KD is the best scorer ever. I've never so, heard you say that. Well, I mean, ever. Then start listening. You've never said Because I'm it. trying to talk now about how Anthony Davis can do more, but apparently I'm ignoring the what, what Draymond means to defense. That's not the case because I never said that. All I'm uh-huh. simply saying is Anthony Davis and, and Joel as well, uh-huh. the versatility that Anthony Davis offers to the defensive side of the ball, uh-huh. on top of the fact that when he's on offensively, uh-huh. he can give you 30 a night is what separates him from a lot of other players in the league. Defensively specifically, if you want to talk about Draymond Green his impact, for sure. He's one of the best defenders of our generation. But healthy, Anthony Davis clears. And is, he can do more defensively is, because although uh-huh. I think Draymond, yes, yeah. bro, I respect Draymond. I think he's for sure. He's is the Anthony Davis the top five for, defender ever? Draymond's no, in that I conversation. I think Draymond is. So what are we talking but about? What I'm no, saying what we, is that, that what are we AD really talking can about? do more this is than Draymond. Because I've ever heard in my life. Draymond's a part they, of four they just, championships. They just admitted, they just admitted to me a part that of Draymond Green is arguably a top five And we're also talking about 2022. Ever. But AD is not. We're talking about I, 2022. You're what about right now? You're losing They're me. They're looking just right now. Riff, you're Two losing me. Two-time defensive player of the year. Riff, since when do you talk about the past? Two-time defensive player of the year. Riff, since when do you talk about the past? He just brought up Pelicans AD. Yeah, he is. He did that, bro. I didn't do that, bro. Are you and me talking about Pelicans? AD, we're talking about 2022. I mean, if we're talking about 20 games, fine, it's, you haven't. Talk about 20 games, you haven't. Talk about 20 games, you haven't. If that's what we're doing, 20 Bro, games, listen, you guys have. You're, you're not, the last two seasons of what, what we've seen from Draymond. You're not, you're not no, listening. The last two right seasons of what we've seen from AD. Draymond has been a more impactful defender. So you say the he's, last three seasons. Is, Let's go last four, because then that defense that we saw from Anthony Davis is what led to a championship. That's fair. All right, then. All right, That guys. year, I can't I right, can't argue with that year. I can't Because the Anthony Davis we're seeing now is better than that one that won a championship. And that's a fact. How do you even say that? going off the stretch. Just off the stretch. Off the stretch. Off this stretch, off yes. This stretch, off this stretch, this is yes. The but he's not going to compare. He's not going to do the stretch for the playoffs. I understand. I understand. I understand. But we right play, now he's playing at a higher level than he was in the playoffs. playoffs. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? You can't what compare that though. AD was a shooter at that time. What's that on right now? What's that based off? So the dominance on the offensive side of the ball and the consistency on defense. That's what's. That's what I'm basing this off of. Yes, we were winning games more. Don't you like versatility more? Because AD was a more versatile offensive player in the bubble. No, I'm fact. But at the three point shot, if we're being honest, this is the second best we've seen it since the bubble year right it's not the what it, since the since the, the bubble three-point shot yes it's the second best in since he, LA. A, he could shoot the mid-range in the bubble correct but the mid-range has been slowly but surely getting back but what i love about anthony davis and what we've all been begging for anthony davis to do is assert his dominance in the paint yes. and that's what he's done Facts. 57 percent from the field this season but he has well, been, been dominant been in all aspects of the game i i just push back on the best we've seen him since then because I mean that, that's easy. That playoff front, opinion. that playoff front, he averaged twenty eight and ten, and he sh- he was shooting thirty eight percent from three. This is the best we've seen. Fifty seven percent from the field. He's been that's a LA, he was, LA AD. But this, this, is the this best AD seen, still can't shoot though. But, uh, but he wasn't really shooting that unbelievable back then. Shot thirty eight percent from no three, from, from three, three in the playoffs. He was unbelievable. He shoots twenty nine percent now. Twenty nine, which is improvement from the last two seasons. Yeah, but that's, but what I'm fine with is the amount of I'm fine with the amount of attempts and the field goal percentage. You just talk about mentality. Correct. Yes, that's what you have to be more excited about. And what another thing that we spoke about is his lack of aggression on on the glass. But this season, he's been the best rebounder in the game. That's another thing that we're not speaking about enough. Facts. So what do you see this, Drew? Where do you see this going? Because everyone, Lakers fans, you should be no, excited. I'm, I'm, you should I be. Excited. I know. I, I haven't seen I'm you this excited. animated about the Lakers in years, ever since I came on basketball, because honestly. Because all I've been wanting since Anthony Davis was a Laker was for this moment where there's a shift. The shift that everyone had been talking about and looking forward to. That shift of 
LeBron is passing the torch to Anthony Davis as the best player on the Lakers. I've wanted that for a while. In the last two seasons, it's been disappointing to not see it happen. The fact it's happening finally, and he is dominating, and he just dominated against the best player in the NBA, outplayed the best player in the NBA. When the last couple of matchups these two faced off, it's not been a question. Giannis has gotten the upper hand. But this was a statement by Anthony Davis that he is back. So long as Anthony Davis is healthy, he is a lot top 10 player in the league. And he's better than a lot of your favorite players. To all you guys listening, a healthy AD, AD <laughs> is better than a lot of your I'm favorite players. <laughs> you should be cautiously optimistic. I, you know you what? have to be cautiously because you're talking very hot right to. now. I'm not over talking a, hot. No, you're talking you're hot. I'm not crazy. talking hot. But, I, you're, you're, but then we did say... In the beginning of the year, we said, I think we all agreed. Who was my... Harden and AD are the one, two guys that can play their way back into the top. Yes. Team. So and we did yes. say that. And who was my dark horse to win MVP prior to the season? It was Anthony Davis. Anthony now, he won't Davis. win it, but I get what you no, mean. No, I mean... Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> this is where, this this is is where, where you have a chance, bro. <laughs> yes. you, I know, you can, no, you can no, do the yes, narrative. Right, he yes, outplayed yes, Giannis. He outplayed no, the I only, I only say, I only say that it's, a, it would be a conversation. There's, certain, there's things that have to happen. Yeah, for a lot that. of things for that sure. have to happen. Listen, we creep into. Well, that's that. why it's a dark horse. Exactly. Pick, right? Yes, that's a great dark horse pick. We creep, we creep into that. We creep into that. That five sixty. We creep into that five sixty. He keeps this level of play up both sides of the court. It's not crazy to say that. Mm. He you just have to be cautious, bro, because we know injuries, AD could yeah. do this stretch. And But what's more, this is an outlier what's happening right now with the Lakers. The 7-2 stretch, AD playing outlier like this. Fucking it's, I'm not even trying to be rude, it's but it's true. Chip. You won the chip. playoffs two years ago. You went to the playoffs two years ago. I know, but you guys got you lost in round one. Because AD got hurt. Fair. Again. Again. Like, this is the outlier for the Lakers. When you guys are on the court, when LeBron and AD are on the court together, and AD is playing like this, obviously the upside is not what we saw in in the past two seasons, but they haven't been healthy, AD specifically. And why I get so hype about this most recent performance against the Bucs, we were talking about it before the show, this was a playoff-type atmosphere. The Bucs wanted this game. Bucs fans were going crazy. There were moments where the Lakers could have turned over and allowed momentum to swing to Milwaukee. Milwaukee had some shots down the stretch. Mm -hmm. Middleton hit a big three. Giannis had a big block on the other side. Brooke Lopez had a big block on the other side. Transition leads to Giannis catching a dunk to tie the game. A lot could have, in those moments, easily the, the Lakers that everyone knows would have turned over and given this game to Milwaukee. But they were resilient, and they ended up pulling this one out. LeBron had what? 11 in the fourth quarter, too. LeBron caught fire oh, from cool. three. AD was just dominant the entire game. And Russ controlling the ball and playing with heart, which you can never, ever question. If we can contain, just re- lo- lower the amount of turnovers per game from LeBron and Russ, things get interesting. Now, we are having this conversation as well about, does this mean that the Lakers are now put in a position to make a trade now that Anthony Davis and the Lakers are playing at this level? I wouldn't say it's putting anyone in a position to do to do anything when it comes to the Lakers, honestly. I'm not saying we don't need to make a move and this team is good enough to win a championship now, but let's relax and, and continue to get hot because we're not at that position yet. You mentioned it. Nine and twelve. Seven of our last seven of our last nine are W's, but we still have to get five hundred. We need to see consistency out of not just A D, not just LeBron, but Russ as well. We need to see what this big three can do, but it's not that time yet. I'm not ready to say so let's go all in and trade Russ and these two picks to get better because Russ was a part of this big win last night for sure. So, listen, I'm optimistic. I am extremely happy with what I'm seeing from the Lakers of recent. But we still got our ways to go. But don't sleep. <laughs> I had y'all in the play. Don't s- Enough of you. Enough of you. I had y'all I can respect. I, can I didn't res- have y'all winning. I, I can respect you for sure because you you just are just a joke maker for sure. <laughs> you, you you you're interesting. I was shocked to hear you defend AD only for the fact that you've been such a, you've been such a prick to the Lakers to the start of the season. You, Mister Dells. Mm. What this, did I do? No, I the, the reason why this guy fucking grinds my gears is because you would think that. Since I was one of the few on the sh- on the show, and by one of the few, I mean the one, the only, to defend the the Celtics, give them the recognition that they deserve, that 
Well, I, I would expect Dells yeah. of all. Pe- oh no, stop it! You had him losing well, we, first round. We, had all, had our, first we round. all had our fair share of uh, giving this up. Did, have I not opened you with welcome no, arms? No, into and Boston? that has nothing to do but with. You, him. He's saying no. you haven't opened. No, 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 and I'm not saying no, 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 no. I'm not saying he needs to become an LA difference. fan. I would never ask yeah. him for that. But the jokes and the disrespect <laughs> you throw my way is disgusting. I disrespect you. Is disgusting. I, I disrespect you for how? Because when you disrespect the Lakers and you disrespect LeBron, AD, Russell, how how not disrespect? How not disrespecting me? How did I disrespect them? Oh, this you Lakers team. LeBron this Lakers LA. team's a joke. Uh, this this win doesn't move me. I, I'm not the, moved by anything. This, this was a good win. Does this make you I'm guys a moved. top five lock I'm in the West? I'm not saying we're top five, but we need acknowledgement. We're not as sorry as everyone says we I are. I had you as a playing team, and that's a bailout because I still think prior, you guys are going to be around stretch. that. What like enough? And and you, man, you really shocked me. Like I I was ready to dap you, but then in that moment of of, of weakness. It came to it nah, came back to me. It came back to me that all the <laughs> shit you talked on us to start. He the did season. not have you in the play, bro. You no, have fine. Drew. You're going crazy over the seven and two stretch. I, hey, why not? Like, they were two why and ten not? before. But, no, but it's not just nuts. a. Se- it's not just a seven. Can like, we just calm it down. I, and two imagine weeks. how spicy I'd be talking if we didn't blow it to the Pacers, man. That that is the worst so loss. Did so the really Pacers hurts. are the are the bar now. We lost by That's, seventeen. No, we we blew a seventeen point lead and gave up three. They just they, this West Coast road trip has been daunting for them. All I'm been just losing. saying is just give them a little bit more respect. That's it. I'm not saying for you to acknowledge them as a top five, top four seed in the West. I'm not saying all that. I don't. But acknowledge they're not garbage. The Listen, I, I think it's okay to acknowledge that the league has been playing well. That's it. And That's Anthony Davis has it's been a, playing phenomenal. It's a superstar. Phenomenal. Anthony Davis is a superstar. Yes, he's he's a superstar. There's no doubt he's playing at a superstar level. And for one, I don't know. I don't know why he's you're surprised. Like su- I could get behind that. He's I don't know why you're surprised that I'm defending AD because all I said was that he can do more things defensively than Draymond. It just shocked and me for a second. Were you for some odd, Draymond, no, there's no. I think Draymond is a better defender. But where I feel like you misconstrued what I said is he that did. naturally, if Anthony Davis is six ten, six eleven, whatever he yeah. is, with that lengthy wingspan. He can deter more shots. He can block more stuff. He has has longer length to defend passing Mm -hmm. lanes. AD just is a more talented defender. He can do more. I'm not Mm -hmm. saying Draymond was better. It really annoyed me that you misconstrued that. For real, that's what what that's what that's what lost me too. That's not what we're saying. Okay. But when it when I'm talking about the Lakers now now onto the Lakers. Anthony Davis is really the person that I want to highlight because he's playing some of the best basketball of his career. There's no doubt. And when I was looking at these numbers, I was expecting for Anthony Davis to be a much efficient mid-range shooter. All oh, like all these numbers jump out at me, Not right? Really. Last season he shot seventy-five percent. Well, th- last season he shot seventy-seven percent in the restricted area, forty percent in the paint, and thirty-seven percent from mid-range. This season he's shooting seventy-five percent in the restricted area, taking the third most shots in the paint, which shows his aggressiveness and. He shoots 42% in the paint and 39% from mid-range this season. So the efficiency numbers haven't gone up tremendously, but what has gone up is the amount of times he's getting to the free throw line per game. Correct. And just the amount of jump shots he's taken this year. Last year, it was five. This year, it's three. So he's being less of a jump shooter. He's being more aggressive to the basket. He has the third most attempts in a restricted area, which means he's being physical, aggressive, and that's getting him to the foul line. So I think that's been the best part of his game in He's the only center to rank top twenty-five in steals. He leads, he and he's the set. He's leading the second best defensive rating team right now. The Lakers' win streak is cool. What what they've been doing is awesome, right? But th- that does not tell me that now they're going to be in the play-in in the West. I'm even going to go go as far to say the play-in because they can still miss it. Everybody knew that when it came to the Lakers, everything has to go right. It, it's still the case right now. Anthony Davis is playing amazing, but every single time he falls, you kind of bite your nails a little bit because you don't know what's going to happen, right? He's still injury prone. LeBron James has gotten hurt every season in, on, in Los Angeles, and he's missed 30 or more games. And Russell Westbrook, he's featured in so many trades, but shout out to him for expect, accepting his role 100%. and being one of the better six men in the, in the NBA. When people talk about trades, I do agree with you, Drew, in that, this team is just figuring it out. Correct. It takes a, an, a, a collection of talent, usually a year, to figure out how to play with each other. And last year, they didn't get that because they were hurt. So this year is their first year to finally build up chemistry. But let's be honest. These Lakers at their best are a first-round exit. They are. 
And that's the truth of it. The West is open, mm-hmm. man. It's open. So, so what trade would make them any better? It's tough, man. That Demar no, Vucevic to trade Russ right now. No, it's you're right. That Demar Vucevic trade's yes, intriguing. There is, is no Absolutely. trade that the Lakers can make that after that trade, I sit there and I'm fine with. The because the starting lineup, trade? the starting lineup looks good, right? But DeRozan, the fit with LeBron, I question tremendously. That's a off and a that's a that's a poor fit. That's a poor fit. It's, they both need the ball in their hands. And then the bench after that is, is extremely weakened. You have no bench. You have no consistent c- creator. You're now relying on Lonnie Walker to do that. And then the starting lineup, he's been great. It's easy to do that when you're playing with talent that takes the pressure off of you. When he's the main focal point off the bench, he's the game plan um, from the role players, then it's a, it's different. So I, I don't feel comfortable with any assertion of trades that the Lakers would have here. I don't. It's almost a good problem to have, though, that you don't want to trade Russ. That I he's agree. playing at this level because all of the other trades we've seen, it's trying to fix the Russ problem. But if he's going to be this type of contributor, then fuck it. It's harder to construe the construct these trades when you don't have a salary. Like, what big me- meaningful players are you going to bring in? Trading guys, you know, on on you're free right. agent deals right. that are minimum or around that, where you're going to be able to br- bring in a contract. The, the role players that have been playing well for us, Lonnie, Austin Reeves, these are guys that. It does not help our our cap space availability.